Carson was, right? Yeah. Well, he thought it was funny. He started his thing that there was a toilet paper shortage and everybody better stock up because... It was a year yeah. of other shortages is why he, didn't he? That's yes. what it said on there. I didn't remember that. What were the other shortages that year? <clears throat> anyway. Bacon, I think. Was everybody went out and started hoarding no. toilet paper. <laughs> Us too. He won't remember that part either, but we got it. The toilet paper too. And you know, Big Daddy, during the war, they had rationing and everything. Mm -hmm. well, th th there's two parts to this story. One thing was you couldn't get cars during that period either, during the war, Second World War thing. Or tires, or, or tires, gasoline, or anything. Or oil. So I don't know how Daddy did it, but we had 18 cars one year. And every time he got a new car, I'd make him drive me to school in the new car. <laughs> we had 17. For most Americans, 1973 was marred by shortages. In the year's first few months, the stock market crashed and lost over 45% of its value, one of the worst declines in history. In October, an Arab oil embargo sparked an ongoing crisis that saw gas rise from $3 a barrel to nearly $12 a barrel. Quietly, the U.S. spiraled into a period of economic stagnation and malaise it hadn't seen since the Great Depression. Gasoline, electricity, and onions were heavily reported as and goods onions. and services that were in limited supply, and Americans cultivated a shortage psychology. Then, right in the midst of this economic turmoil, a toilet paper scare ignited a communal panic attack. <laughs> Perhaps the most memorable shortage in a decade of shortages it involved government officials a famous television personality, a respected congressman, droves of reporters and industrial executives. But it was the consumers themselves who were ultimately blamed. Like most scares, the toilet paper fiasco all started with an unsubstantiated rumor. Several news agencies reported a tissue shortage in Japan. <laughs> Somehow it rolled over into here. Uh, and Papa's brother. there. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. Oh. Papa's half brother worked for the Scott Paper Company. I don't know. I don't know if it's Scott. That wasn't the name of the company, Scott. but he worked for Champion, that. probably. Yeah, I think it was Champion. They made the paper for magazines, Life and Look and all those. 